All right, so here's the deal. We're in my new house, our new house, Chad, my, our house. This is the first video we're shooting here. And I know after the last honey do list video, a lot of you guys were surprised that we sold our house and you're surprised to know that we got a new one. Here we are. So in this video, I'm gonna clear up a whole bunch of questions that were asked on Instagram and on our last video. I'm also gonna give you an extensive house tour so that you can see what this house looks like before we do some of our renovations. This is a really exciting time for Chad and I. This house is amazing. You can see our pool behind us. So I don't wanna waste any more time and I wanna give you that tour. But I also wanna tell you real quick, there is a lot of action happening here. A lot of renos, walls are being cut and stuff like that. So you're gonna hear some noise. Just bear with me. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna jump in that pool right now. I know I do. The first question that we got a lot of was, why did you guys move? Your house was really nice before. The answer to that is we had been living in that house for the past nine years. When we moved in, we didn't have all of the stuff that we do now going on, our videos, our microfiber cloths. We didn't have a baby. We didn't have two cats. There's a lot that's happened in that house since we moved in and quite frankly, we had outgrown the space. Secondly, it was also a home that we knew we weren't going to be in forever. So the time really felt right after Riley arrived to get a new home. At the end of the last Honey Do List video, you saw a photo of a nice red brick bungalow. That's where we are now. That's the house that we ended up buying. And I'll tell you guys how we got here because many of you were asking, so did you buy a new house? Yes, we did. Here it is. And we actually purchased it in late June. So we've known about this for a long time and we've been keeping it a big old secret. The reasons why we loved this house, first of all, it's on over a 100 foot lot. I think it's about 110 feet wide and it's about 300 feet deep. So when we saw this lot, we could instantly imagine Riley and all her little friends and potentially dogs, I don't know, playing out in the yard. The pool, it goes without saying, both Chad and I dreamed of having a pool when we were growing up and it just made us so happy to think that we'd be able to give that to Riley, let alone friends and family. And for us, when we're bored on a Saturday, we can just hang out in the pool. Not in November, mind you, but in the warmer months, we can spend time in that incredible backyard. This house also has a lot more space, which is perfect for us because we plan on expanding our family. And yes, lots of you nosy people were asking that question. It's coming when the time is right but we just wanted a little bit more space for family and for hosting parties and guests and that kind of thing. Chad and I also work from home as you guys both know, as you guys both know, cause there's only two of you watching and we needed real office space. So this house had six bedrooms. So two of those will become our offices. That still gives us room for one or two more kids or a guest room or however we choose to configure it. There are so many other reasons why we ended up picking this home, but those are just a few of them. And I will tell you that we almost lost this home to another buyer, but we had the opportunity to meet the people who were selling the home. They were so lovely. We had a nice chat with them. They knew that we had a baby and Chad and I like to think that they wanted us to have the house, which is why it ended up working out in our favor. A lot of questions regarding this particular house and why we picked it. Let me explain what happened here. So we were looking in the area that we always wanted to live in. And another question we got asked is, are we still in Toronto? Yes, we are. We're just five minutes north of where we used to live, but it's really just an area that we really love and we've always imagined ourselves living in. So we were driving around knowing that we were hoping to find a nice house. We saw one house that was a little bit more expensive, but completely done, gorgeous, amazing finishes we it was so moving ready it wasn't even funny literally would have had to bring suitcases and unpack them uh, and that house was amazing the other house that we really loved of course was this one and we knew it was a little bit less and we knew it was going to require renovations time frustrations headaches but we saw a lot of potential in this home and that's why we ended up picking this one and one other thing i'll tell you and for anybody who's looking to get a home or whether it's renting or buying or they're you know thinking about it take this with you when you walk into a space get a sense for the vibe that you get for that home does it feel right to you does it feel like good things happen in this home 
Chad and I got the sense that the, the, the former owners of this home, because now we the owners, but the former owners of the home raised an amazing family here. And we didn't see photos or anything, but we just got that sense. And then when we met them, it was totally corroborated. So remember to go with that vibe and that gut feeling. You can already see the difference just walking up to the front door of the new CMSHQ. It is big and we absolutely love it. Small front entryway. This is the great room. You know it's the great room because it is a great one. Used to be two rooms, now it's just one. This is the kitchen dining room direction, but let me take you back to the great room for a sec. It's got a real wood burning fireplace, huge windows that look out onto the backyard. Of course, an amazing view of our pool. Honestly, I will never get sick of that. You go this way, this is the formal dining room. We're gonna have some fun with this one. We only had one eating space in the old CMS HQ, so this will be a good time. That light fixture, not staying. And this is our kitchen. This is going to stay for now. It's not quite what we would have picked, but it's really nice. And then it's got this little balcony patio deal. Walking out this way, you'll see the staircase on my right. We'll go down there in a sec. But looking ahead, this is the hallway to the first three bedrooms. This is going to be the guest bathroom slash Riley's bath. And those little toys, actually the homeowners left those for us. It was from their kids when they were little. This is baby number two's bedroom. So we don't know really what color to paint that room. Won't be used for a while. Here on the right, this is the master bedroom. You've got closets on either side. Walk in, our bed's gonna be here on the right. We're gonna do some built-ins over there. Oh, I'm giving you too much information, okay. You can see that blue carpet has been lived on, by the way, and I gotta give kudos to the former homeowners. They had some pretty sweet cut lines. Now this is the bathroom. We are doing something major to this bathroom. Cannot wait to show you guys. It is not gonna look the same. And yes, Chad and I will be sharing that toilet, that one sink, and this bathroom. Wish us luck. Right across the hall, you've got Riley's new bedroom. This is a room full of little opportunities. She gets to look out on the backyard and the pool, and over there, that's a linen closet. Pretty nice long hallway. You got those double French doors closing off the living space. And now we're gonna head downstairs and show you what that basement looks like. Just looking right, you'll see we've got a long hallway. And this room over here is the lower level rec room. So it's got another fireplace. I think we're gonna put the TV right there. Here's that plant, it used to be in my bathroom. This is going to be a fun space to furnish. Now, over here, this is a lower level master bedroom, and that wall is the one that they removed upstairs to create that really big room. That might actually be something we do one day. Right across, you'll see there's a cold room. I'll show you that one day, it's not so interesting right now. They also have a bathroom in here. This is going to be perfect for our guests who use the pool. Also, of course, for anyone who's in the basement. This here is a little office. The homeowner had that as his office. He also had that, and I'm debating if I should paint it and just call it vertical shiplap. Now this is a lower level bedroom as well. It's got some pretty fancy Scandi wallpaper. Chad's debating if he should keep it. That's going to be his office. Now this here is a storage space, and of course, where all the electrical business happens. This is gonna be perfect for the CMS HQ. And this room is going to be our guest room. It is quite obvious that the former homeowners loved the color blue. And what goes better with a blue room than a yellow and gray bathroom? And this space right here, the former homeowner had it set up as a pretty in-depth workshop. It is not going to be that for us. It might become something else. You'll have to stay tuned. We also get asked quite a bit, what renovations are you doing? 
I will get into a lot more detail about this later, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's 2,800 square feet on the main floor. That's essentially duplicated down here. We're not focusing on this lower level for the near future. We really just wanted the house to be move and ready, and it wasn't what we wanted upstairs. So that's why we're focusing our budget and our efforts up there. We have a two week gap between when this house closed and when our house that we're currently living in closes. So we have lots of crew in here right now working like crazy to make it somewhat move and ready. That includes bedrooms, bathrooms, open spaces, and a few living spaces, but not the kitchen. Another question we got asked was, how did we pick the people who we're working with for this reno? That is a big choice. You have the option of finding the different trades and putting them all together, essentially making you your own general contractor. If you have experience and you know people, that's a very easy way to save some money and do what you need to do. In our case, my knowledge of construction and renovation doesn't go any further beyond HGTV and Chad really can paint a wall and assemble IKEA furniture and that's where his skills kind of stop. So we had to bring in someone who we could trust. We actually have a friend of ours, a really close friend of ours, who not only helped us sell our house, but is also quite skilled and connected in this industry. So she is being our GC and she's brought on people who are certified trades who um, know what they're doing, are legitimate and above board. Anything aside from that would make me very nervous. Another thing that kept coming up was how do Chad and I feel about this move? How is it affecting us emotionally? Well, okay, I'm the kind of person who uh, I will hide my stress. So friends came over on the weekend and they were looking around the house and my one friend said to me, you don't, you don't look good right now, you don't look okay. And I guess my face just showed how stressed out I was, but in my head, I was like, no, I'm fine, I'm managing, but I guess it's hard. I guess I'm having a tougher time than what I'd like to admit. It's really overwhelming to pack up your whole house, despite the fact that we've done so much decluttering work in the past. There's still a lot of stuff that has to be packed up, let alone there are a lot of things that have to be physically moved, it's exhausting. And we're moving out of a house where so much living has happened, so much life. I got engaged in that house, Riley was born in that house, so many things happen. So it is emotionally difficult to make the move, but it's buffered by the excitement of moving into this place. We've also been getting a ton of very specific questions. And I'm so glad that you guys are asking these because we are creating an entire series called Dream Home Reno where we're taking you through the entire renovation process. Now, of course, we're just doing phase one right now, but this is an ongoing project. So we are going to continue to film content, showing you some behind the scenes stuff, more vlog style videos with some of the drama and some of the choices, like should we get this countertop or this countertop? And we're also gonna be filming some before and after reveal videos. Basically, Chad and I are making our own HGTV show right here on the Clean My Space channel. But we're also going to be making regular Clean My Space content, so don't worry. Our cleaning videos are coming out as well on their regular schedule. This is just going to be extra additional stuff that we think will be really fun to watch. Fun to film, I should say, but also very stressful to film because not only are we moving and renovating, but we're filming too but we think it's going to be worth it and we're really, really excited to take you along for the ride. So all of your tough questions are going to be answered. You know, what kind of paint we're picking, what store we're buying it from, all of that stuff we're going to be sharing. We're also going to be putting a source guide up on cleanmyspace.com. So we'll have a link below for you that you can visit as well. We're putting a ton of photos, videos, and stories up on Instagram and Facebook using the hashtag Dream Home Reno. So make sure that you follow along. I'm at Melissa Maker on Instagram, Chad's at the Chad Reynolds. We are at Clean My Space and you can find us on Facebook as well, facebook.com slash clean my space. So that's where you can see real time updates of what's going on with this reno. Of course, we're gonna be doing our videos as well, which you'll see here on the YouTube channel. But I encourage you to ask any questions you have about this reno as specific or as broad as you wish in the comments down below. We're gonna to try to answer as many as we can throughout this entire process with different videos, photos, images, 
all that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really excited to take you guys along for this journey and show you what Chad and I are going to turn into our dream home. Thanks so much for all your kind words, lovely wishes and your support. This has been a big, big thing for us and we really appreciate how thoughtful and nice you've been during this process. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about Maker's Microfiber Cloths, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.